It's using the code from Media Transcribe, and it's confusing and trying to do the same thing. In the Media Transcribe, where, which we just referenced, it does have this concept of direct and cloud-based responses. In this case, we don't need that. So again, I'm going to tell it to disregard and only upload and return the file URL and not all of this other information as that is covered by a different part of the application. Basically, it's adding in functionality that we didn't request. So I'm just going to say it. We, you're adding in functionality that was not requested. There is no response type in the new download endpoint. And you're also returning additional information beyond the file URL. Only respond with the file URL and remove the direct and cloud options from the payload. So there, it took that out. And now it simplified everything here. It's still responding as an array. So if I take a look at some of these other examples here, and this is some of the work you have to do, is that you have to take a look and see what it's doing and reference it to other items in the project, or if you're writing things from scratch. Notice that this one doesn't return an array, it's just the URL. So I'm gonna give it a more verbose instruction this time. I'm just gonna copy this. Do not return the file URL in an array, similar to this. And then I'm gonna update the endpoint here so it doesn't get confused. Media, download, and I'll hit send, jump back to download, and there it corrected it. So now it looks like it's doing what we need here. So now I can go ahead and accept the changes. So we're getting close to being able to give this a try. I'll accept the changes here in this file, and I will accept the changes here in the app file, make sure everything is saved. Now I can jump back to my project and I can go ahead and try running it. This is how you launch the No Code Architects Toolkit from the command line. It's gonna boot everything up. It's gonna build the container. This might take a few minutes and we'll fast forward through that process. So on one of the final steps now, it's about to launch the server endpoint. All right, looks like it came up with an error. So now all we need to do is take this error and we will throw that back into our cursor app. And then it sees the issue, it's gonna fix it. Looks like it added a new line here. We'll accept those changes, didn't change anything else. Now we can come back to the command line again and we can try to run it again, see if it comes up with any new errors. No errors this time. I'll grab this, come back to Postman. Let's add this here and then we will click send. So what we can see is the API was successful and it returned a new cloud URL with our downloaded TikTok video on it, the one that we passed into the input of our API. And if we look at the actual API where the request came in, it received our request, here is the video, it downloaded it, uploaded it to cloud storage, that was successful, and then it responded back to us with that URL.